Camera. Here they are at Four Sisters Winery, winery stomping the grapes. <laughs> it's very wet. This is Olana. And I'm Isaac. We're, we're moving, moving to, to Hawaii. Hawaii! But first... We're driving from New York City to Seattle. With Smiley, our nine-year-old rescue pity. In our Tesla Model 3, equipped for camping. And we are funding this trip with our Etsy store. Meaning we are bringing around 50,000 earrings. And 500 envelopes. And our label printer. On this 11-day cross-country road trip. Subscribe to the Travel Bug Bite today! We're on our way to Four Sisters Winery, where uh, it's in New Jersey. Where in New Jersey? I cannot tell you. It's a B word. Rockaway. No, Rockaway is where we're supercharging. We're on our way to uh, Four Sisters Winery in New Jersey, and um, it's about an hour and 20 minutes west of New York City, maybe an hour and a half. Um, and uh, we're doing uh, grape stomping, or grape treading, they sometimes call it. Uh, there where you like literally stop on a bunch Tessa. of grapes. And there's going to be wine tasting and a dinner that we didn't know about. Yeah. Which is cool because we paid $45 and Smiley's not invited. Yeah. We'll he drop is. him off at a daycare first. Yeah. No wine for you. He's like, but I want wine. I'm old enough to drink. So you've been reading Wikipedia. I read a little bit about wine treading, or no, grape treading, as they call it, uh, not stomping, a little more elegant, and um, mm. yeah, apparently it's like completely outdated, like nobody actually uses this outside of maybe like the middle, I don't, I don't know if anyone still uses it as an actual practical method of making uh, wine, but it's kind of just a gimmicky thing to do for, uh, you know, for events and, and for the wine tasting that we're doing, so... I don't know if the very wine we are going to be drinking was treaded upon, tread upon by somebody else, uh, but... They'll probably tell us. Yeah, it'll be fun. I want some foot wine. Do you want some foot wine? Uh, foot wine. Fungus. Smiley wants some foot wine. Stomping grapes. Uh, is anybody first-timer here? Or? Oh, lots of people. Well, welcome. Welcome, welcome to Four Sisters. So, uh, just let me give you a little rundown of how the uh, afternoon is going to go. Uh, I'm going to uh, just talk briefly about a little bit about the history of the winery. Uh, then we will do a formal wine tasting, and the wines are on that yellow sheet. Feel free to make any notes. If there's something you really like, if there's something you really don't like. Now, smile. No. Now, sit. Sight. <laughs> so you should hold up your wine glass, and if you tilt it a little, you see sort of like what looks like a little halo on the top. Sort of clear. Yes. No. Yeah. Yeah. That usually that tells you that the wine is fresh. That it's not bad. Sometimes when you have white wine, you can see the halo a little bit easier. Okay. So if you see that, you know that the wine is good. Now, what would be your next test? Smile. Smile. Okay. Smell. And what are you smell? What are you smelling for? What are you smelling? We have good Sometimes you want to smell. You smell some fruit notes. Something might, if you say, like, for example, the contour grape, it might smell very grapey. Sometimes you might smell something a little earthy. Some wines, or you notice it's apricot, grapefruit. That doesn't mean there's apricot and grapefruit in it, it just has some of those smells. Okay? Now, the next thing you want to do is take a little sip. Don't sip it all, save some. <laughs> After this, you can do what you want. After this one, but just take a little sip. And what kind of taste do you get? Anybody? Sour, dry, tart. Okay. Now, you 
can either do it on the table or swirl it. And then take another sip and see if anything tastes different. Because when you swirl, it opens up the wine. It lets more air in. Sometimes, and that changes the, sometimes changes the taste. By the way, this first wine that you're drinking, Leon Below, that's a French American hybrid grape called the Leon Below. This is a very bold, hearty red wine. Dry, earthy. When you swirled it and you sipped it, okay, wait. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. S1. Yeah, no, S1. Yes, S1. S2. I think. S3. S4. S5. Where's the C wine tasting? The Isaac C chug. S? C. Oh, C. C8. What are our favorite wines? Um, well, we bought the uh, Merrill Blush, which is a semi-dry blend of hybrid and Native American grapes. So great all-occasion, light, crisp wine. This is an all-day wine. You can drink it any time. And you should drink it all day. Yes. And then this is the uh, proprietor's red. It's very sour. I like. Yeah, it's really dry. Medium body, light tint. Tannins, a hint of chocolate cherries and smooth finish. Four Sisters Winery at the Matarazzo Farm sits nestled in a beautiful valley amidst the rolling fields and picturesque hills of Warren County, New Jersey. It's part of an agricultural heritage carried on by the owner, Robert J. Matarazzo, and his four daughters, hence Four Sisters. Since the opening in 1984, Four Sisters Winery continues to offer the public a variety of quality, award winning wines in a warm country setting. I have issue with that verb tense. It should be present perfect. But whatever. <laughs> that is a little ridiculous. We're not really gonna step in that. Okay. Yes, please. Can we, can we have one camera for photos and one for videos, please? Because we're picky like sure. that. We'll Could we have one for video? I'll take the video. You oh. can do the photo. How's <laughs> that? <laughs> no. Here they are, Four Sisters Winery, winery stomping the grapes. It's very wet. Yeah. That's good. That means they're, they're juicy, so we can make lots of wine. How was the stomping? It was interesting. We were like the last people they called. It's it's literally like a, a little bucket, like a little barrel this big around filled with grapes that you literally just like stomp. We barely on. both fit in it, but it was fun. It's a gimmick. They don't actually use those grapes for that. They're compost grapes and like, you know, it's it's funny, it's whatever. But yeah, the, the dinner was good, the, the tasting was good. It's a it was, it was we had a vegetarian option for mm -hmm. the dinner. So it was really, really great. nice. Uh, I would have loved to take some money around. It was really hot and yeah. we're tired. Otherwise we would stay longer, they let you hang out until seven and it's only six. Maybe and we we'll bought some to wine. A nearby winery or brewery. What? Well aren't we going to Vessel though? No. To so learn more about all sorts of stuff and wine and all that kind of everything. Subscribe to the travel bug bites.